<laughs> oh, filming? <laughs> oh. All right, guys. What's going on? Tyler here. Today, we got these two uh, things, you know? So, today we're going to install... What is it called? A dumbbell? Oh, my God. But yeah, we're going to install this heavy-ass axle because, you know, Tyler doesn't know how to drive and keeps on breaking things. That's why it's all apart right now. Yeah, it's all on jack stands right now. And if you didn't know, I didn't film any of this, but I got new upper control arms, which give me less camber. Uh, we'll see when it's on the ground how it looks like. This is how it looks with a 50 mil spacer. I'll show you guys more of it once we get to the surprise, maybe next week. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but I'm back to it. Oh, you know what that is? That's what? the freaking shaker thing to like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> The first thing we're gonna have to do is take out the axle bolt, which is, um, I feel like it's gonna be a pretty difficult job. To make our breaker bar even bigger, we're gonna need this jack handle. And hopefully this is enough. Definitely gonna need an extension so it doesn't hit my paint, cause if that happens, I'm probably gonna cry. Just this? Yeah. Oh, okay. that's so scary. That's so scary. Okay, so something that I did was detach my arms because I was working on them. Yeah, I'll come back when I have it all tightened up. I don't know if you guys could see anything. Um, I got all the arms hand tight at least, and there is all the dirtiness and the grease that the axle like spewed out when the boot ripped. But that's all gonna be gone. I don't know how I'm gonna clean it. We are gonna get this nut off. Let's do this. <laughs> Ready? Oh, wait. I should. Is it in gear? Oh, it's not in gear, huh? <laughs> okay, I'll put it in gear. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, it's like that kind of scary feeling. Yeah, like I could, you could keep on going. It's just like, it's kind of scary. Like, oh my god, <laughs> that should break. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's just so scary. <laughs> like I feel like it's like <laughs> something's about to explode in my face. I feel like you're like boom. <laughs> I feel like this is not going to go all my way up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, you gotta eat me with it. Oh, 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 your way. Oh, your way, bro. Honestly, this wasn't as bad as we expected. You could definitely do it on your own. Well, maybe not. Just have someone supervise you. And then we just unscrew all those. Ooh, yeah. That actually, all that leverage helps, huh? Oh, yeah. Dude. Halfway there. Sick. All of them are off. Oh, shit. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Hey. I got this axle on Rock Auto and I've been recently getting it from them for a while. I'm actually impressed with like everything. Compared to O'Reilly's or AutoZone, definitely a better and cheaper choice. Yeah, I'm not sponsored by the way, so we're gonna install this. I'll show you after because it's for the same price. Oh, I feel like my exhaust is a little in the way, but I got it. Oh, oh yeah. Keep on coming. There you go. There you go. Oh. Okay, what we need to do now is max out the torque wrench and tighten the axle bolt. You have to tighten it to within like 150 to 200 foot pounds of torque. All right, now it's manpower. Manpower all the way. So I think we maxed the torque wrench out. Ah, that's all. So we're gonna just do straight, put our weight on it, cause it was all my weight to loosen it, and Brandon weighs the exact same weight, so he's gonna do it. Okay, 
I think that's good. Cool. Right. Eating it? Yeah. Axle is all done and in. I know my subframe is like all dirty, but time to check all the bolts on here, see if they're tightened. And then we're gonna put it on the ground, see how it sits. Next day, I just got back from work. Brandon's in the car sleeping. These are about to get new, or well, not new tires, flip tires. As you can see, the wear is so bad, only on the sidewall. But this is my work van, and we're about to get this hopefully fixed because this one's leaking really bad I don't know why we'll find out though all right future Tyler here and again this video was filmed a while back I'd say around November December like a month ago we're starting to get more into the recent content and I think this is gonna be way more entertaining still a bit of a choppy video because I don't really think I was in the mind state of filming yet. Cause with me, I saw how I was filming and it wasn't really like how I wanted it. I'm still gonna put it out for you guys. From where we left off, I think we installed the axle right. But there still seems to be some like shaking when I go past 60 miles per hour. It's kind of scary. I don't know if that has to do with the axle or not. If you guys know anything, please let me know because I'm just going to deal with it for now. As of now, Gina is on the ground. You really can't see the axle, but I think we did a pretty good job on that. The clip that you guys just saw before this was me getting the tires flipped. What ended up happening was that there was like a pinhole uh, sized hole in the tire from the camera wear. And that tire was just useless so I bought new tires. One of my next upcoming videos is gonna be on that, how I went to like 10 different shops to figure this out. At least Gina's on the ground and running for now. She's basically perfect. That's pretty much all for this video. But another thing is today is January 1st, 2019. Hours before the video is gonna come out because this is the future Tyler. 2018 wasn't my year. It was actually a very difficult year for me. A lot of hardships and opportunities that I had to go through. I really wonder what your guys' is like too. So comment down below how your year went. And I'm really excited to start this year off because I really do think that in 2018, I was really not on top of my YouTube game. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Oh,